Now then, boys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here, and welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 22 Leicester City career mode. And we're going to kick off today's episode by taking on 10th place. Yes, 10th place, Arsenal. And it goes without saying, if you are new around here, please smash that subscribe button and go back and watch the start of this series, as well as the entire backlog that we've got on the channel. There's loads. There's a full Spurs series that was a lot of fun, but ended way too soon we're just gonna get straight into the games in this one boys because we are in october i want to start pushing the save forward now and try and get towards january and maybe make one or two signings and maybe move out one or two players who just haven't quite been good enough for us can't be too much of a surprise can it after that game against man united of course i'm going 4-4-2 again daka and vardy up top it seems like the dream team at the moment to have those two up top and i'm not changing they're going to be up top again for this one i mean it's a difficult side i don't know who garcia is so we'll just pretend that he's definitely a right midfielder uh, but it's a decent arsenal team so it's not going to be uh an easy game one of the big questions will be is can daka just keep up this unbelievable form it's been ridiculous so far i can't believe how many goals he's managed to score but can he keep it up can we keep that goal record going it's not going to be easy because of course at some point he's going to drop out of form you would imagine if he doesn't he could easily be one of the best strikers in this league this season well the groundsman just seems as if he's slacking just a touch now this ground doesn't look as good as it did before I'm starting to slowly get the hint that he might be heading on his holidays as we head into winter. You know, I can see that happening. Tielemans, that's a great ball into Daka, the touch though. Needed to take him away from the defender. We've got some really good threats of Arsenal, especially to get in behind. Odegaard is a wicked passer of the football as well as Saka loses out there though. Madu AK. Jamie Vardy's new role of dropping deep and moving the ball on is absolutely brilliant. I kind of like him in that role. Maybe that's... The, the position that we push him into, of course, now that we've got Dakar, Jamie Vardy comes a bit deeper and spreads the ball a bit more. Although he's made a great run there. Jamie Vardy with a shot. Well blocked by holding. Can I win the header back? I do. Can I just whip that one across? I do Tielemans and I just can't get anything on it. Tielemans has stayed down, has he? No, he's complaining about the foul. Well, Spurs are top and that's got to hurt Arsenal fans, right? Spurs are absolutely smashing and flying in the league at the moment. Man United were top, of course, until we beat them. Until we beat them, we did a job on them. Spurs then taking top spot. It'll be a happy place for Spurs fans. Oh, Odegaard now. Oh, it's just enough to put him off, I think. Maybe even blocked it. No, it wasn't. It was a goal kick. Well, Bamiyang's no slouch. He's got seven goals this season. So it's not as if we're coming up against someone who's not got a goal-scoring record. Jimmy Vardy now. I tried to lift that in. Maitland-Niles, brilliant defending. We've got to be cautious now. As I just mentioned, the Bamiyang has bagged some goals this season. Try not to let him get on the ball. Well in, Justin. DD there finds Jamie Vardy. Vardy finds Barnes. Barnes into Dakar and it's hit the back of the net. Is it going to count? I think he might have been offside. He was, wasn't he? So unlucky. Off the crossbar and in over the line. Only just over the line as well, might I add. It was a good ball in from Barnes, but... I had a sneaky feeling when I played it, yeah. I had a sneaky feeling when I played it that he was quite a bit offside. Of a warning sign, at least, for Arsenal there, though. A little bit of a warning sign just to show him we've got some unreal talent on this pitch and we will punish you if you give us the opportunity to. We've been very solid defensively so far. That was a rare moment where we broke through. It wasn't a bad ball to Barnes. Barnes then finds Vardy. Vardy pokes it back through to Barnes. Oh, I tried to cut on the inside. Maybe should have gone on down the outside. It's been a really poor game of football this so far. Not many shots for either side. I think there's been one shot on target. It's been Arsenal's. And that is it. The game has just been very stale. Just a lot of passing. A lot of mistaken passes in the final third as well. You AK. Tried to play that one up. Kolasinac gets in the way. And they've just got bodies back instantly, haven't they? She's making my life very difficult. I'll play that into Daka. Daka finds Jamie Vardy. Vardy holds strong. Uh, back across to Daka. That's a lovely play. Madu AK will pull it back across to Jamie Vardy. Oh, what a save from Leno. Well, just before half time, it'd be lovely. Can we get a goal from this corner? For Fanners. Header is miles over the bar, and that will be the half time whistle. And nil nil. We kind of sprung into life a little bit there, but I'm going to need far more than that in this second half. There goes Odegaard. Well in for Fanner. I haven't really had any breakaways in terms of countering. We might do now. He's onside here. He's passing Daka. That's a great ball there from Madu AK. Daka, and he doesn't miss him. 
He doesn't miss him. 1-0 Leicester City. The first time we've really been allowed to counter. And that's a great ball by Manu AK. Really is. And a beautiful finish from Dakar. He, he's just on fire. There's no stopping this man at the moment. He's just on fire. We have to hold the lead though. That's really important. And there hasn't been much in this game. It's been very even. So holding the lead here now is probably going to be the aim. Because I can't see us all of a sudden having tons and tons of chances. Nearly a good tackle. Ruben Garcia's ended up with the ball. That's a great turn from him. But Odegaard's not exactly the height you want in the box to be playing the ball into, is he? And he's not won the ball once there. And can we break again? That will surely be the question here. Harvey Barnes isn't bad at threading the ball through the eye of a needle. Rob Holding read the pass. Well, Maitland Niles makes the mistake there. Wilfred and DD again. Rob Holding just stopping the passes through to Jamie Vardy. If they get anything from this game, Arsenal will have Rob Holding to thank. There goes Maitland Niles now. Not bad ball in behind to Garcia. Garcia's whip ball across to Aubameyang. And Arsenal might get something out of this. What a finish that is. Aubameyang's on fire. And my issue here is we've had a couple of good opportunities to break. Rob Holding has been really important now. This is a good ball in from Garcia, to be fair. No one was marking him at the far post. Draw wouldn't be a horrendous scoreline, to be honest with you. I don't think I could be too bitterly disappointed if we get a draw out of this game. I just think we had a couple of opportunities earlier in this half to break away and kind of put it to bed. And we've been a team that struggled to put games to bed this season. We kind of always dangle that carrot for the opposition so that, you know, maybe you can get back into this. Maybe. I need to stop doing that. Ruben Garcia now is going to lift that one in towards Aubameyang. Well headed away by Fafana. Now is there a breakable opportunity? Jamie Vardy is going to try and spot that ball to Dakar. And there is. What can Dakar do in this situation? He's been driven wide. Dakar! Oh, saved by Leno. And that will be the full-time whistle and a little bit of a disappointing draw. Dakar maybe should have won it for us. Maybe. Rob Holding just surprisingly had an unbelievable game there for Arsenal. A draw isn't the end of the world though, is it? You know, I can't complain too much. A draw against Arsenal and again that they dominated possession. Completely dominated possession. Although most sides do tend to dominate possession against us. Uh, I'm not going to complain too much. I'll take a point there. That has been suggested and we are now going to say and our youth scout out. I'm going to send him to England for now. But recommendations for other places in the future are more than welcome. But I just think it makes sense because he's English. The first time we send him out, we'll send him out in England. And just see what talent he brings back and try and fill this youth academy up just a little bit. I'm going to rotate a little bit for this quick sim here against Legia Warsaw. I am pretty confident that we should be getting the win. But regardless, we're basically through the group. A draw would be enough to see us through. We do win though 4-2. Hats and Dakar getting another hat-trick, scoring all four goals. The man is a cheat code this year on FIFA. If you haven't picked him up yet, go and bloody sign him. He's unbelievable. Doesn't matter if it's the sim or if you're using him, the man bags goals. So this will be the start 11 for this game against Leeds. We're going to quick sim this one as well. Dakar keeps his spot up top. I'm bringing Brooks back in at Cam. I, to be honest with you, I prefer Brooks at the minute to Madison. I want to try and work Madison in in some way, shape or form because I know he's a very good player for Leicester, but we might be slowly getting to the point where we might just sell him because we'll get a lot of cash for Madison. We're going to win this one 3-1 Dakar with another goal. Brooks getting a goal as well as Tielemans. Great performance from the boys there to beat Leeds. They are in 16th though at the moment in the league so it was probably you know it was expected that we get that kind of victory late place chelsea now then to take on eighth place chelsea that sounds weird doesn't it this is going to be the start 11 to take chelsea on now i've opted for luckman today purely for the pace you know how we play we have to counter against the bigger sides and just soak up the pressure as much as humanly possible and then bomb down the wing so luckman on the left Madu AK on the right. Madison going to be given the opportunity today in behind Dakar. But I'm already thinking, I want your guys' suggestions now that we might retrain Jamie Vardy as a cam for the later stages of his career. Him playing just in behind Pats and Dakar could be really good. Or even potentially a centre forward. And we'll swap the cam roll to a centre forward like we did with Bobby in the Spurs career mode. Oh, Lukaku for Chelsea today, which is always a weird one. But he didn't play much in season one of that series with Spurs. Timo Werner up top today. But he does have a lot of pace, which could definitely cause my backline issues. Imagine scoring six goals in three games. Well, you can do if you're Pats and Dakar, can't you? Six goals in three games. And the goal scoring record this year is just unbelievable anyway. But six goals in three games. I... The man's going to be a legend. We're not going to forget him. There was Jesus Ferreira on last year's game. And we'll never forget that man. He was a beast for us at the Yellow Submarine. 
Hudson Daka, I think, could be one of those players that we just don't forget because he's so bloody good. Chelsea are pretty good as well, aren't they? And they're having a poor season, and they'll be looking to kickstart that. And maybe it's us that they're looking to as the team that they can defeat. Oh, this could be good early if Daka can get to it. Thiago Silva's too experienced for that. Although, mind you, AK's won the ball back. Well, Thiago Silva doesn't seem that experienced. Although the ball for Madu AK wasn't great. But look at that control from Paz and Daka. Look at that control from Paz and Daka, Samare. Well held by Mendy. What is this man? He is a god. He is the best footballer in the world. He's certainly the best Zambian footballer. He started brightly, but now a few worries starting to creep in. As Chelsea have some control in the game. Which I want as little as is humanly possible. Although Madu AK now making a little run out wide. Uh, okay, so we've learnt one thing. Daka's passing, not a strong point. Not a strong point. That was not a good overhead ball from uh, from Daka there, was it? Madu AK's played a ball over to Daka a few times in the last match. Daka might control it. He does control it. Oh, what a save for Mendy. It's probably going to take a lot for us to beat Mendy today. He's an unbelievably good goalkeeper. We all know that. There's no doubt in that. But it might take a little bit more than that. He probably needed to find a corner there. Can I whip in a good corner? Speaking of corners, that's not a bad one. Madu AK is going to fizz all the way through. We should be noted as well that Chelsea are pretty good at football. So, I mean, they're going to cause me problems. Timo Werner, what a save from Schmeichel. What a save from our captain. Got himself in a good position there. And these near post situations, they've been a little bit tasty, haven't they, for the AI? Not this time. Short corner. What a shock. Hakim Ziyech, that, I mean, I don't know what he's done there, but he's done it. And now Luckman does have a bit of space to run into. Not too much. Can I get Dakar in? I can. That was an issue there. He didn't have as much space as I was expecting. And that's probably because Chelsea is so well drilled defensively. With the three at the back as well. Always difficult to get in behind there. Madison now. Puts that one forward to Luckman. Luckman do. He's got space here out wide. He's going to go at his man. He's going to go completely at his man and drive all the way wide. That's a beautiful ball in. And Patson Daka will make it 1-0 at Leicester City. It was a fantastic ball in. And what a great run by Luckman. Taking himself beyond Rudiger to fizz that one across. Now we're marking Daka. Dangerous not to mark him. Very, very dangerous not to mark him. Just a great ball in as well. They want it from Luckman. We haven't seen enough of that Rayleigh crossing-wise from him. But that was just a great ball in. I usually cut inside. This time chose not to. And I'm happy I did. But we went up against Arsenal, didn't we? And it didn't stay that way. Chelsea certainly have the, pi uh, the firepower to change that as well. Hakim Ziyech now in the box. Don't let him crack off a shot. Well done for Fana. Well, Luckman there is going to ping one up. It wasn't great, but Mendy has chosen to stay back in his goal. Pats and Dakar will make it too. I don't know what Mendy was doing. Come out and collect the ball. Tuchel will be fuming, but if this is how Chelsea have been playing this season, then it's no surprise. Luckman with two assists now to Dakar. Dakar with a brace. And on for potentially another hat trick. The man has had several of them this season. I just don't understand why Mendy didn't come for the ball. We'll head in for half time and we've got the cushion. The cushion we always crave, which we haven't given ourselves many times this season. We've got it in this one. But Chelsea have some firepower on the bench. So I'm expecting some changes to come in in this second half and potentially make life more difficult. When Chelsea played Lukaku against me, I really struggled because of his hold-up play in the box and his ability to turn and shoot. They don't have that on the pitch right now with Werner. So if they make that sub... That could be where we come a little bit unstuck here. Madison now, pump that one out wide. He's got a lot to prove in this one, hasn't he, Madison? Oh, I like that run, though, from him. That's a great run! Oh, that would have been a brilliant goal. That was better from James Madison. Need more of that if he's to keep his career being a Leicester player. I need him to be making those opportunities and taking those runs. New AK. Knew he could slide in Rodrigo. Well, Ricardo, sorry. Daka for the hat trick. Oh, what a save by Mendy. I was ready to celebrate, boys. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm a little bit over eager. But I was ready to celebrate that goal hitting the back of the net. What a save that was from by, uh, by Mendy. Unbelievable stuff. Well, Madison getting involved in everything in this second half at the moment. And he's doing a pretty decent job. Surprised to say it. I am. But he's doing a pretty decent job at the moment. Been a bit open-ended this game. What a tackle that was. What a tackle that was. Can we find the right ball now up to Daka? We can't. Thiago Silva's there. Daka didn't really make the run on. Good ball out wide by Madison, but 
and pick out the correct pass. It's not a bad bit of play. He holds up the ball. Again, there's not the height in the box, though, is there? Mason Mount. What a ball. What a ball. I've got... What a pass that was right there. From I'm sick of this celebration. I'll patch that, EA. I want to see them celebrate. I'll show their celebrations, but not when they just run to the manager every time. But what a pass that was from Mason Mount. Unbelievable pass. We'll finish as well from Timo. Manu AK is tired. And we're going to reassure that midfield with Tielemans now. Because I don't want to I don't want to gift them a draw here. Yeah, I really don't want to gift them a draw. I want to take this win. But there'll be some wind beneath their wings now. With that result. Look, man. Holds and holds and holds. Daka. Oh, Mendy's so good. Mendy's just good at the football, isn't he? He's just good at the football, boys. I can't believe he saved that again. Daka definitely should be having a hat trick here. But can we just shift anything in with this corner? It's going to be Sionchu up against Thiago Silva. Can I get anything on it? I did. And Mendy's come out. Madison. Oh, well in, Rudiger. I think that was heading for the back of the net. We couldn't find it. I'll ping that one out wide now to Luckman. Can Luckman get beyond his man? He can't. And this is an opportunity for Chelsea to break. A very good opportunity for Chelsea to break. And what I'm extremely nervous about, well in, Ricardo getting back there. Oh, that's good play. Aspie back across, Timo Werner, and Ziyech will make it 2-2 in added time. Absolutely gutted here. Once again, we've not been able to hold on to a lead, even with the two-goal cushion. That is definitely not Thomas Tuchel in there. And Chelsea have managed to come back, and that might give them a little bit of a spark to their season because they're having a bad one. No wonder Tuchel's not in there, to be fair. He'll have been sacked at this stage, but they just passed their way through us here. Too easy. Well, Daka, although he scored two, might be thinking, I probably should have finished the third. And unfortunately for us, it's another point. But a point against one of the best teams in the league, I can't complain too much. I've got this game coming up against Napoli. Uh, I think I'm going to sim it because we're through in the group and we're through top, basically. Uh, so I'm okay to actually quick sim this one. I'd, I'd rather focus on the, the knockout stages of this competition now. Strong starting 11, though, for it. I still want to get the victory. They've got a very good team, haven't they, Napoli? So a draw would probably be a decent result for us. We do lose it 3-2. Brooks with a late goal for us to try and get us back in it, though. Politano, Osserman scoring a brace for them. Yannick Vestergaard got himself sent off in 13 minutes. So no wonder we didn't win that game. It's a shot we managed to score two. Yannick, 13 minutes in... What are you playing at? We haven't won in the league in this episode. So this will be a very good opportunity to... It's the first time in a while that we've really had to rotate. But Watford is 16th in the league. So you expect that we can have a decent performance here against them. They don't have a terrible team. But they're freshly promoted. This is a team that you definitely look at at the start of the season and go, we're going to take points off of them. Ah, we're back at the bus, boys. I think this is the first time we've seen the bus with Leicester. It's good to see 15 goals already in his Premier League career, Pats and Daka. Watch out, is it? Home again... And hopefully not giving up the lead. We're getting pretty good at that, aren't we? We're pretty good at taking the lead and then giving it up. We're also good at coming back. So, I mean, they're two. One's good, one's bad. I mean, swings and roundabouts, really, guys. And it? it's just swings and roundabouts. How is he Perez starting today? Purely because Mads is not in good shape. But he's managed to find himself a bit of space here early. Daka tried to get up there. How tall is Jones? I don't know what Jones it is. How bloody tall is he? Nine foot seven. He was massive. Who won that header there? There, Jones. He's a big unit as well. Not going to lie. Daka might have a bit of a struggle up against Jones today. We'll see. We have rotated. And we know what happens when we rotate. We lose to teams like Burnley. So we'll see what happens today. All the uh, all the promise in the world at the start of the game. Semmer is absolutely just done. Stanya there. Absolutely did him. Although, there is Luckman now, fizzing that ball forward to Daka. Daka might just have the strength and the pace. He does. He's got himself in a really good position. And what a save that is. Legs by Foster. I'd love to see Daka's conversion rate, but we've got to worry about this attack at the moment. And he may have got sent off in the European game, but what a defensive block that was from Yannick Vestergaard. Stanya now fizzes that one into Daka. Daka fizzes that forward. Luckman. We'll place that into Thomas. Thomas! Ah, oh, what a save by Backman. It's not really his strength, is it? Shooting. We're finally starting to get a little bit of rhythm here, which is nice to see as Daka just heads it over the bar. He's good in those positions. Tillemans finds Castagna. Castagna plays that one into Perez. 
Perez then back to Dakar. Dakar across to Brooks, and there we go. 1 0 Leicester. And what beautiful football that was from the boys. And that's the first time I got to score with Brooks. And it's a great goal as well. What a great goal. Just so well worked. The teamwork on this one was unbelievable. The balls inside was just great. And what a hit. So much power. There's no way that Foster was saving that because Foster is not on the pitch and it's Backman and I need to remember that. I'm just so used to seeing Foster in a Watford goalkeeper jersey that it instantly brain goes there. There goes Thomas. This is that into Brooks. Brooks might play that along to Dakar. Dakar's in now and two would be lovely at this stage. Dakar does make it two. Brooks and Dakar doing each other a favour here. And there we go. 2 nil Leicester. This time... We can't be giving up our lead. It's just quick play, though. Thomas into Brooks, then Brooks into Dakar. And Dakar this time doesn't miss. The half-time whistle will be blown, and we take a two-goal lead. But that's an all-familiar feeling after that Chelsea game, isn't it, boys? And look what happened there. So we need to make sure that we can stay on top here. Handful for defenders, Pats and Dakar. What a surprise. They don't need to scout him much, do they? Just know that he's going to cause you issues, no matter who he plays against. He's caused every team issues in this league this season. I think it was a Jamie Vardy injury as well that pushed us to get him in the team as quickly as we did. I planned on just holding out on him. Um, and that Jamie Vardy injury right at the start of the season pushed him into the starting eleven, And ever since, I've fallen in love. It's hard for me now to leave him out. In fact, I'd rather play 4-4-2 and leave out Madison than leave out Dakar. Now, this could be good. And Didi... Finds Brooks for free. Oh, well blocked. Thomas there. In for Luckman. Luckman then into Dakar. Distance. Ah, he pulled it wide. It was a tough one to take, wasn't it? It fizzed into him quickly. I didn't really give Dakar the opportunity to set his feet. I just tried to fire off the shot before the bodies got to us. And it was a tough one. Tough, uh, tough angle as well. Very tight angle. Tough tangle is nearly what I just said. It's a nice play by Watford. Well blocked by Yannick Vestergaard. He's not a bad defender, is Vestergaard. I actually enjoy using him. He's a little bit slow, but he's a bit of a tank as well at the same time. That could be a good opportunity here by Ozzy Perez. The ball's going to have to be good. Daka. Oh, it was a tough one. It was so close to the goalkeeper. It was extremely tough there for Daka to find that uh, hit in the back of the net. Oh, what ball that is. Ken Semmer here maybe making this 2-1. Oh, this is a bit worrying. Are we going to fall apart here? The defence were lost at sea in that situation. Just nobody there. The fullback and the winger too far up the pitch. No one tracking back. Sloppy goal to concede. Luckman now tries to dink that one into Dakar. Can't get it to him. We might get it on to Tielemans and we can't. Again, there's been a couple of opportunities, hasn't there, for us to... Uh, We've taken the lead. Well stepped out, Yannick Vestergaard. That was brilliant. Finds Luckman. Luckman will pop that out wide to Perez. That's a great ball into Tielemans. Oh, it's just past the post. So close. We've got a lot of tired bodies out there. So Tielemans and Brooks off. Samare and Kelechi Iheanacho on. Iheanacho has scored in three sub appearances for us. Can he do it again and just take this one beyond Watford? Semma already bagged the goal. Back to Kiko. Would be very strong here. That's great defending. And your question here surely would be, can we break away? Kelechi and Acho. He's got a lot of strength, doesn't he? He's done brilliantly there. And Didi. Perez. Daka. Back across. Lugman. Oh, what a save from the keeper. That could potentially be a save that rescues Watford a point if they can bag a goal. Can't quite believe what just happened there. I thought that was the moment. That one's easily held. Oh, we've got Samare down injured. He's absolutely just been clattered into by their, their... I think it was Jones. I don't know who it was, but he absolutely piled into him. Samare comes on in his young Leicester career. And he's going to have to come off here. And I've got a feeling this could be a bad injury. We are a bit short at midfield. Look at that. He absolutely piles into him. No foul from Sissoko either. Sissoko even puts his arms up as if it's Samare's fault. Dewsbury Hall will come on, and it looks like he's set to see a bit of football. I was going to mention that, to be honest with you, centre mid is a position where we could really use another player. Really use another player. Perez there. It's a good play. Good ball in. Dakar. Oh, man, is there. Dewsbury Hall will win it, will he? he does. Iozzi now. Finds Kelechi Iheanacho. Great strength from him. He's got that in buckets, hasn't he? 
Go on then, Iozzi. Playing him in. It's good play inside the box. Kelechi, Jusby Hall. We just can't find a way through. But to be honest with you, I'm just happy for the final whistle here at the moment. We're still not getting it. Luckman. Can't fire off a shot. Come on, ref. It's three minutes. We've played six. And there we go. We let them back in again, though. We really need to fix that. We keep letting teams back into games. But that's another victory here for Leicester. A little bit worried now about Samare because he's been big, uh, big rotation for us. Seven months. I thought it was going to be a bad one, boys. Samare is going to be out for the rest of the season. Seven month anterior cruciate ligament injury. And that is a big hit to us. That is a massive hit. Now, if we look at the transfer list, which the window is opening soon, we've got some okay, you know, Ronaldo Vieira, just because he's an ex Leeds boy, I had to put him on the list. But we've got some okay centre mids here potentially to go and pick up. I'm open to more suggestions as well. I would prefer someone who's young because. In DD and Tielemans, no one is going to start ahead of them, if we're honest. Now, Renato Sanchez is someone who's been recommended a ton. I think he's going to be out of contract, potentially, although it does say between 38 and 50. Do we go in for Renato Sanchez when the window opens and bring him to Leicester? I think he'd be a very good player for us. Let me know in the comments. That window, of course, we're just a month away, so we will have to deal with a very busy schedule this month. Lacking a centre midfielder, which is going to hurt us, I reckon. But Madison will probably have to slot in at centre mid. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I really am appreciating your support as per usual on these videos. You keep smashing them. Thank you very much for that. It means a lot to me. Hope you all had a good weekend and your Monday hasn't been too bad. At least you get this episode to watch. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.